Oh hi, I'm the Heretic. Let's do this. Now while this is a political channel, I've always found astronomy so cool, and I can't not talk about this. Let's be honest, talking about politics gets exhausting, so let me share something with you that's just cool and not political. The link to the sources, or rather source, will be in the description below. Now NASA scientists say they found a planet outside our solar system that could potentially sustain life. The planet orbits the star, known as Ross 128, and the planet itself is known as Ross 128b. Yeah, imaginative, but at least the letter B shows that it's the second planet from the sun. Anyways, Ross 128b is a terrestrial exoplanet with an orbital period of 9.9 .9 Earth days. That means anyone living on the planet would be celebrating their birthday every other week. The planet's mass is estimated to be around 1.35 times that of Earth's, and the radius of its orbit, about 0.05 astronomical units, or AU. According to NASA, it sits in the inner range of the habitable zone, which, in a nutshell, means the possibility of liquid water. But the best part is that Ross 128 is only 11 light years from our solar system. Yay! Okay, maybe that's not reachable with our current level of technology, but, someday, you will have noticed that Ross 128b's orbital period is extremely short, and that it's very close to its star. So how could it possibly sustain life? Well, Ross 128 is a Class M star, known as a Red Dwarf, which is one of the smallest, dimmest, most common star types in our galaxy. Ross 128, in particular, has only about 0.17 solar masses and 0.20 solar radii, 0.0036 solar luminosity. That means that any life-sustaining planets will have to get pretty close. NASA says they'll be doing follow-up scans to try to determine Ross 128b's atmospheric content or planetary rotation, but the possibility of a habitable world within a lifetime of humans to reach. If we were to travel on a ship going 25% the speed of light? Pretty cool. Now while this information has no immediate value to our day-to-day -day lives, it does make you think. What does it look like to stand on a world and look up at a red dwarf star? What strange and wonderful creatures might evolve under such alien skies? Is there intelligent life? Would they think or communicate the same way we do? Would they even look like anything humans would recognize as living? Nah, they'll definitely look like humans with rubber foreheads or something. 